Welcome to WatchCard's Daily Security Bite. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is a ransomware joke gone bad. Last Friday, uh, Kotaku released an article that mixes gaming and security. Basically, it was about a Korean developer that released a joke ransomware game that actually caused a bit of trouble. His uh, ransomware was actually called Rensenware. And unlike normal ransomware that asks you for Bitcoin in order to get your files unencrypted, this ransomware would force you to play a well-known Japanese bullet hell shooter and get a score that is very, very difficult to get. Basically, it asks you to get 0.2 billion or 200 million in the most uh, difficult lunatic mode of this game for you to get your files back. Now, according to this Korean developer, he made this ransomware game just as kind of a joke, and he publicly put it on GitHub before falling asleep. But when he woke up, not only did he learn that he had infected himself, but he learned a number of people had downloaded and infected themselves with this ransomware, causing a significant amount of trouble. The moral of the story is you should never make joke malware. I believe some of the original viruses were just research projects for fun, but they actually turned into wild malware. In any case, the uh, the author of this has since removed it from GitHub. He's also released a program called Rents and Force, which will actually trick the game into getting the high score you need to get your files back. So chances are you probably haven't encountered this ransomware in the wild and you probably won't. But if you do, you can definitely get your files back using that forcing tool. So as far as what we can learn from this, as I mentioned before, security researchers or coders shouldn't make malware for fun. Now for other users out there, you can protect yourself from this joke game ransomware the same way you protect yourself from all ransomware. Really, it requires multiple layers of defense. First of all, always back up, so if your files are encrypted, you can recover. Second, train your users to avoid phishing emails. But more importantly, make sure to use many different layers of security controls to catch this type of thing. If you're a Firebox customer and you have our total security suite, we have a ton of ways to actually prevent ransomware attacks. Intrusion prevention can prevent exploits from forcing malware on your system. Gateway Antivirus can catch most known ransomware. APT Blocker can catch unknown ransomware. And in the worst case scenario, our Threat Detection and Response Service can prevent ransomware that does make it on some of your endpoints from actually encrypting files. So long story short, Firebox customers should use our total security suite. Anyways, just thought it was an interesting game-related security story and something that researchers shouldn't do in the future. That's it for today's news. Thank you for watching.